this is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at reaction mechanisms. Most chemical reactions occur in a series of steps called elementary steps. The sequence of elementary steps is the reaction mechanism. Here we have a proposed reaction mechanism that occurs in two elementary steps. At the bottom, we have the overall equation for the reaction. The overall equation for the reaction can be deduced from the elementary steps. If we look at the elementary steps, we can see that the chlorine atom appears on both sides of the arrow in step 1 and step 2. Any species which appears on both sides of the arrow in the elementary steps can be cancelled out and doesn't appear in the overall equation. The chlorine atom is an intermediate. It is produced and consumed in different steps Therefore, it does not appear in the overall equation. After we cancel out the intermediates, we are left with two NO2Cls in the reactants and two NO2s and one Cl2 in the products, which matches the overall equation. Let's look at another example. Here we have a proposed reaction mechanism that's made up of two elementary steps and at the bottom we have the overall equation for the reaction. If we look at the elementary steps, we can see that some species appear on both sides of the arrow. The species that appear on both sides of the arrow and therefore cancel out are the NO3s and one of these NO2s in step 1. Now we are left with one NO2 and one CO in the reactants and one NO and one CO2 in the products, which matches the overall equation. In this reaction mechanism, NO3 is an intermediate. It doesn't appear in the overall equation. And as we've seen from the previous two examples, the elementary steps must add up to the overall equation. Next, we look at how to deduce the rate expression from the reaction mechanism. The rate expression is deduced from the slower step, which is the rate determining step. As you can see from the reaction mechanism, step 1 is the slower step, therefore it's the rate determining step. And here we have the rate expression. Because there's one reactant particle in the rate determining step, the reaction is unimolecular. Let's look at another reaction. In this reaction mechanism, step 1 is the slowest step, therefore it's the rate determining step. Here we have the rate expression. Because there are two reactant particles in the rate determining step, the reaction is bimolecular. Let's look at one more example. In the previous examples we looked at, step 1 was the slower step, the rate determining step. However, in this reaction mechanism, step 2 is the slowest step. So the rate depends on the second slowest step, but the production of the intermediate N2O2 depends on the concentration of NO in the first step. So the production of this intermediate N2O2 in the slowest step depends on the concentration of the NO in the first step. So when we write the rate expression, we have to include the NO in the first step and the oxygen in the second step. And here we have the rate expression. Because there are two reactant particles in the slowest step, the reaction is bimolecular. 